For decades, the privilege of voting in the United States was solely reserved for the wealthy and white men of this country. The fight for voting rights became a pillar in the early stages of the civil rights movement. The most basic right of citizenship, the right to vote, was finally afforded to black Americans. This also paved the way for more black elected officials and representatives to serve their communities and bring a new perspective and voice to our leadership. Sheriff Marion Brown is an inspiring example of this progress. Sworn in as Sheriff of Dallas County on January 1, 2019, Sheriff Brown is the first African-American sheriff in Dallas County and one of only three African-American female sheriffs in the United States. I am 32 years in law enforcement and uh, I started out at a small city uh, that I was supposed to go to uh, and I was supposed to be there like a year just because I thought I wanted to be police for a year, get it out of my system and then, you know, get back to real life. And obviously then I found a niche and felt the need to stay where I was. But when important perspectives like Sheriff Brown's are stifled, how can we expect the voices of our community to be heard? Women of color and leadership are still fighting for a seat at the table, most recently exemplified when President Trump visited Dallas. The president hosted a roundtable discussion on race and policing, only to exclude Dallas's top black law enforcement officials. Exclusion is why we're in this boat that we're in today. And so we have got to reach a point where we include one another. That means that uh, we have various types at the table so that we can have a greater appreciation for everyone. Having a seat at the table means different perspectives are offered. It means that we validate the fact that different voices matter, that all voices matter, that all persons' perspectives are important. And while shattering the glass ceiling does not come easy, and in a time of political tension and divide, leaders like Sheriff Brown are calling on young voters to not only understand the significance of the upcoming election, but also rise as leaders themselves. This is a time of, of change, as we all know, and I think it's a great time for women in representation. I think that it's a good time for um, women to uh, step forward and to exhibit what it is that we know we're able to do. As we celebrate the centennial anniversary of the 19th Amendment, we must recognize the efforts of past leaders who have made it possible for us to have our voices heard. And with this, it is our duty to use this power and create systemic change for our communities. I say that all the time to people, vote your conviction. I want you to vote your conviction. There were people who died that I might have a small voice in how things run. And so I'm gonna have my voice and I'm gonna vote my conviction. And I love what Dr. Martin Luther King said when he said, well, if you haven't found something that you're willing to die, I for something you're not fit to live you know so if you're not willing to stand up for something then my goodness I don't know you need to check yourself so I, I would encourage people to not only vote but vote your, your conviction and the way that you vote your conviction is by staying abreast of what is going on and what people stand for to further get involved in Texas please visit jolttx.org and follow us on all our social media pages for resources and opportunities with JOLT.